now in this video we're going to fade an LED on and off. We're going to control it with a switch right there. So you can see we got a 3000 ohm resistor going to a 1000 microfarad capacitor. Exact values do not matter, but uh, making adjustments will affect the fade quite a bit. Now, while the capacitor is charging, when we press the button, voltage is going to rise. The LED is going to go from off or not very on to getting brighter and brighter until it gets to steady state. So again, with the voltages and uh, resistances we're using, it's not going to get terribly bright, especially the red LED, but uh, we'll see the fading effect. Now, when we uh, reach steady state, or even before that, we release the switch, then the capacitor has to provide all the uh, power, and it's going to discharge quickly, its voltage is going to drop, and the LED is going to fade over time. So here we got the circuit 3000 ohm resistor from the positive supply to the top of the switch. These two top pins are always connected but nothing is on the other side of the top there. Uh, bottom two pins are always connected too. We got the uh, 1000 microfarad capacitor here rated for 35 volts. And uh, so we're very shy of that with only uh, 12 volts. So that's going to the bottom. That's electrically connected once I can get that in there to this 220 ohm resistor right there and uh, come into the long lead, the anode of the LED. Short lead, the cathode of the LED goes to ground right there. And we'll quickly look at the fade that we get with that. So now what's more interesting than the uh, fade, which is, looks pretty cool, is uh, the line right there is the voltage. So that's the voltage it takes for the LED to start conducting. Got the cable coming out to these alligator clips and then I clipped them to jumpers that one's to ground our zero volt reference point and then that goes up to the resistor which also connects directly to the capacitor we can put it directly with the capacitor but in case let's zoom in so you can see it a little easier and uh, when I hit the button you see a slow curve up there and so we don't even have three volts now that's why I can use 220 ohm resistor I could even go lower as you can see there it's uh, really safe and now we're back to about one and a half but we have that fade there and uh, so even with low current LEDs light up a bit the overhead light is not at its brightest and again this is not the effective way to do this it's the simplest way so let's put the uh, green LED in luckily green LEDs light up with a uh, I'm off a spot that's why the capacitor charge so much there we go so green LEDs they light up a lot brighter for the same amount of current right there so you can see it's pretty bright even though we're only dealing with uh, about uh, three volts across the uh, resistor right there and uh, we can also look at current really quick and now zoom back we can see the uh, power supply we're only dealing with somewhere around about two milliamps of current approximately and uh, so green LED gets fairly bright at that red LED doesn't so in any case this is the uh, simple version of this circuit. Also, the voltage is going to be lower with the red LED because it doesn't drop as much. About a volt less that it drops. But uh, in any case, those were topics we covered in earlier videos. We're going to end this video here. And uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other ones that I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can. That helps out a ton. I'll see you in the next video.